Hey ya, uh, SRP Landscape Design here with another quick lighting setup tutorial. Today we are working with this uh, modern bungalow house. So let's go ahead and start uh, setting up uh, some lights. Before I do that I'm gonna go to build mode and turn on the emissiveness on some of the materials. Specifically the lamp in here. I'm gonna bring up the, the value. We have a couple of spotlights in here, so I'm going to select the material, bring the emissiveness, this one just a little higher, because it is a small uh, light source. And we have one more in here. Also again, bring the emissiveness up, this one not so high, somewhere around here. Confirm. Now we can go back to uh, our photo mode. I already preset the scene uh, for today. I'm gonna go uh, through all the effects at the end, but first I'm going to bring some lights in to the scene. So I'm going back to objects mode and turning on the first layer of lights, which is uh, this spotlight in here. As you can see, here are the values, the, the shape of the, the spotlight, very narrow a beam. Here is the color temperature. It is close to a uh, daylight, white looking light and here is the value of the light and I'm angling or aiming the, the spotlight on this little uh, tree in here and when I go to photo mode to preview my lights and I press F8 on my keyboard we can see uh, the light in effect in here with all the shadows that it will be, uh, it will be casting so when I press F8 you can preview in your viewer how the light will look like in your final uh, render. So let's go back to build mode, turn on another layer of lights. Here we have uh, another spotlight or set of spotlights for, for, the light, for these lights on the ceiling, on, uh, on the porch. It is a spotlight as you can see. Uh, it is a different angle though, different uh, shape, a little, little wider than previous. Uh, the, the temperature of the light is a, is a daylight or a white light. The brightness is uh, pretty much the same value as the, the previous lights. So let's go back to photo mode to preview uh, these lights. When I press F8 on my keyboard, you can see uh, the difference in here. There is a little shadow in here being cast. Also the shadows under the table and the armchairs or chairs on the porch. So that is the uh, effect. Go back to build mode once again, another layer of lights. And here we have, here we have uh, these lights, uh, oh, excuse me, it's on the level four, there we are. So what we have here is, uh, is the lights from this main uh, light on the porch. When I select all of them, uh, you can see what they are. It is a very wide angle uh, spotlight and you can see I have five of them in here. The reason being uh, if I put only one, let's say the one in the middle, the light uh, will be cast directly down but I'll have very strong shadows uh, around uh, these walls. So uh, that's why I'm using another four lights. They're exactly the same as the center uh, spotlight but each light is angled into uh, each direction, into cardinal points, so uh, east, west, south and north. And I get, um, I'm also angling those lights towards those walls, as you can see, using this function in here, called the targeting lights. Uh, and uh, I get nice and even spread of the light from the light source. So when I go back to the photo mode, to preview those lights, when I press F8, you can see the effect. So it is uh, nicely spread and there are not such a strong shadows as it would be normally if I only use the one spotlight in the center. So let's go back to uh, build mode and turn on another layer of lights. I think this is the last uh, layer we are using and that's, that's all the lights in the interior. I'm not gonna go through all of them because there is another tutorial uh, specifically for those lights for the interior. So I'm just gonna uh, show you how it looks like just to feel the, the interior of the lights uh, of the house. And I go to our preset scene and press F8 
Here you can see all the lights uh, in the interior and how they affect the, the shadows or the objects on the outside. There is light coming through the open door and also through the windows on the other side of the porch. So that's the uh, that's all the lights for for this scene. Now quickly uh, through the, uh, the effects. Now let's start with the lens flare. The lens flare is here for these uh, spotlights. So we get a little bit of a halo. Pressing F8, as you can see, there's a little bit of a halo around the lights. That means I'm gonna bring the master brightness up just a little bit. You can see the, uh, the effect uh, coming through over there and perhaps isolating the bright pixels, only the bright or the brightest parts in your, um, in your render will, uh, will pop. Moving on to uh, another effect called Analog uh, Color Lab. Now I'm using this style in here. When I go through, there's a couple of different styles, as you can see. I'm using the first one, which is uh, kind of a little warmer uh, preset. Because as you can see, uh, this is uh, kind of like a late evening shot. So it needs to be a little warmer or the light from, uh, from the sun will be uh, warmer and it will be affecting the whole scene. So I'm bringing the amount somewhere in here. When I uh, go all the way down, there is no amount of the effect applied. When I bring it up, you can see how much of the effect is uh, coming through, through the render. So I'm going to keep it somewhere around this value. We're done in here. A real skies. This is one of the presets from, from Lumion. I'm using the evening sky, this one specifically. And uh, I'm bringing the brightness down to get the, the dramatic effect or the uh, a harsh or strong contrast on uh, on the sky as you can see when I bring it up you can see it's immediately affecting the whole scene but I want it nice and contrasty and also the overall brightness this would be the, uh, the original value that is too bright for me uh, I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit somewhere around here okay so that's the real skies uh, Sun that's basically we can be able because we're using real skies just a little bit of sharpening intensity up on my picture uh, next up, exposure. I'm bringing up the exposure quite a lot in here, so we get uh, a little detail uh, in here on this uh, backyard. Next up, color correction. Um, as I noticed, as I mentioned before, the light is uh, quite warm, so I'm bringing the brightness up, but the temperature up as well, and uh, a little bit of a contrast. So we get contrast on these. Uh, on the shadow parts and also on these tree, on these trees that are lit by the sun. The tint somewhere around here, just a little warmer perhaps. We are done with the color correction reflections. Uh, we only have one glass uh, surface in here, so we basically select the, the glass in here. On the kitchen window, and we are done with the reflections. Uh, Hyperlight, I left it as it was from Lumion preset somewhere in the middle because that's mainly for the interior. The skylight, that is quite important and you can see uh, I brought up the value of the brightness quite a lot. This is the original value but you can see there is nothing happening in here. This effect do, does not uh, show or does not change in your viewer. You cannot see the changes in your viewer so you need to do a couple of test renders to see the result in your final uh, render. So I know uh, from my previous renders that I want the value somewhere around here, which will bring the more of a brightness on this uh, area in here in front of the house. So it is nice and contrasty, but it is not too dark. So I need some bounce from the sky um, and the grass on the house. So it is nice and visible. Saturation I can keep where it is. Next up, shadows. Once again, this is quite important. I needed to bring the brightness up just a little bit. Once again, as I was mentioning, to have some detail in here, in front of the house. Uh, coloring, it's going towards the, towards the blue uh, spectrum, because I have the, the house is uh, gray, so I don't want uh, too orangey in this part. I want it warm uh, in the background. Uh, now the Omni Shadow goes up a little bit, so I get uh, a little darker details uh, in here, in the corners of the house. And I'm turning off 
the soft shadows as you can see in, see in here because I'm using spotlights in the evening so I don't want any soft shadows from spotlights the shadows should be all sharp so that's uh, that's the shadows chromatic aberrations can stay uh, as it is from the preset perhaps a little bit down the dispersion and the last one is depth of field I use this um, autofocus feature uh, in here in the Lumion so I set the, the front of the house or somewhere in the middle of the house turning on the feature will measure the distance and I'm bringing the amount of blur up somewhere around this value and the slider foreground back around towards the background that means the background will be more blurred than the foreground you can see that only the immediate uh, foreground is out of focus a little bit of uh, or foreground in here of the grass but uh, anything around the main portion of the house will be nice and sharp. So that's all the effects. We have all the lights. Let's go ahead and start our final render. And as I mentioned before, interior lighting setup will be on a Red House uh, design uh, channel and the exterior lighting setup on a New Millennium design channel. Uh, both of the links to those videos are in the description. But for now, thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.